managed to get to comms? I'm here, but I was too late. Apollo's recovered from the reactor purge and locked out external comms again. Damn it. So why'd you send me here? Plan B, Rip. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sevastopol. I think it's the Inosadora. Marlow managed to send out his auto codes to call it in while comms were temporarily open. We've got to get to it. Is it docking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. It's Ransom. I just got your query. Yes, I have been in our transmission relay archive, and I've done some decrypting. I'm looking for crew logs that passed through Sevastopol a while ago. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship started its trip home. Nothing that's going to break anything. Ripley's asked me to lie a report on what happened to your Bilicus when we hooked onto the refinery. I'll tell you what happened. Me and Brett were holding the place together with our bare hands. You'd think means of tons of all would get someone from the front deck, someone on a full share down here with us. You know, checking up on the stuff we need. You want to get out of the system on schedule next time, you put in the stroller and drive out for a month. You wait till we're done with it. You pay what we're due, park her out. Jones, and I'm a writer covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. You know, the limited medical resources, the mental effects on patients in deep space, that kind of thing. But look, Doctor, I've heard there was some kind of incident in the hospital recently. No one seems to know anything. Doctor, if there's a major public health issue here on Sevastopol, people need to know. I'm freelance, unbiased. I don't have any corporate affiliations. Let me be a friend to you. Call me. Bates really did a number on this place. Thank you. 
Nexus tuner isn't powerful enough. Vulnerable, sir. There has to be a way. Ricardo, can you hear me? broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then, we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship, the Nostromo, Wayland yutani property. That means there'll be a reward. But then, Marlow had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky, found a distress signal, and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. Outside Sebastopol, Mallow and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Mallow's ship. She's Mallow's wife. And things got heated, and Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to home. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Marlow doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise.
out of in case you're hearing me. I've got the Amos Aurora's basic power systems back online. Doors should be open. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of Marvel. Hey, Ripley. Welcome to the Anisadora. Marlo? Where are you, Marlo? Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. I only needed it offline temporarily. I had some things to fix. Anisadora, this is Marshal Waits of Sevastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sevastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sevastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Waits up. Added report, personal message. This is for my daughter. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart, and I hope you get to hear it one day. You see, I, um, I got into trouble. Um, my ship, there was an accident, sweetheart, and, um, we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous. And the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. 
We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. Damn new. You'll destroy the ship and the station. It will annihilate every trace of that creature. Ripley, it's the only way. I can't let it live. And I'm not letting the company have it, or they'll just start the whole thing over again. Listen to me! We don't have to do this! Stop! Stop it, mother! Marlo, please. You heard what your mother did. She understood. If she was here, she'd be helping me. You think she would want company suits on the zip code of that creature? No one must know. Overload! The ship's gonna tear itself apart! Warning. Critical collapse. 